Yes, she knew from the very beginning that there is only one truth and it is all pervading. Final question. Your mama, your mother, come to Cleveland, Ohio. Only Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> Welcome to Sojourns, full-length video interviews with saintly people of the world. In this one-of-a-kind video, a completely candid interview with a woman from India known universally as Amma. This is Mata Amrit Anandamai, mother of immortal bliss, also known as the Hugging Saint. Wherever she goes, it's not at all uncommon for people to wait all night long for their chance to receive an endearing hug and prayer from Amma. On this occasion, Amma met, greeted, hugged, and laughed with thousands of followers during a several day long visit to Chicago in the summer of 2009. And at the last minute, she made room for this impromptu video visit and interview. Breaking with standard video protocol, this interview is not edited in any form. Those who admire Amma love her every action and reaction. Therefore, in spite of the many distractions, bumping and jarring as individuals try to crowd closer to their saintly friend, and in spite of the full volume devotional singing that occasionally takes place directly behind Amma, this video is being shown in its entirety, so that Amma's every glance, expression, laugh, and translated answer can be seen here. Can people, can people still love Mother I guess. Can people still love Mother Mary if they love you? You can skip the next two. Come on. Why should I Why can't? So, this is our this is for the first question, where does your joy come from? Yes. So it comes from within. Uh, we are not uh, like a candle light which has to be dependent on someone else to be lit. Uh, we are like self effulgent sun. So once you know that, uh, we will know the happiness really from within. And, so uh, we are not first we are within, then. No. They're not like uh, uh, baby goats bleeding. Mm -hmm. No? Hey, we are like uh, the lion. Very strong. Very strong. So once Much you know, and then once you know that we are not this limited body, we are the unlimited infinite Atman. Then you know the happiness comes from within. And that's a gradual process. So that is uh, that is where Amma really feels the happiness from within. Yes. And then uh, so she is not like a battery that loses its charge if it is used for some time. She is Anyway. So she is connected to the eternal source of power, constant supply of power. And once it's ignited, once it's charged, it keeps its charge. No, yeah, it's eternally connected to the, the eternal source of power. It's not like a battery. Could you ask her a second question? I'm upset that I'm not going to go to the end of the day. I'm upset that I'm not going to go to the end of <laughs> so what is the benefit what is the benefit of getting upset? Yes. There is no use in getting upset. 
there's never a cause, never a reason for becoming upset. Yeah, because there is no sense in that. <laughs> someone doesn't get upset. If someone has fallen down, there is no use of getting upset. Oh, he has so, fallen down. Just try to uh, help him to come out. So nothing ever upsets <laughs> Amma, mother. <laughs> See, see, there's no uh, there's no practical use of getting upset. Sama uh, it doesn't is very serve any purpose. Is very practical. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Next question. In you all the generally, American all the generally, India all the generally, cut the everything is mitya samay rikin no. But in that mitya samay, you all the generally, all India all the generally, all the generally, mitya samay no. Third question. There is any difference in yes. I mean, there is there are cultural differences. Like in India, we drive the car on the left side of the road. Yes. Here you drive on the right side, isn't it? So the kind of cultural differences are there. But as far as Amma is concerned, she sees only the all-pervading consciousness in everyone. So she sees beyond the external, yeah, beyond the body. Beyond so the you, have hundred, you have you have hundred uh, pots uh, filled with water. Mm -hmm. And if you keep it outside in the sun, the sun will reflect in all and all the hundred parts. It doesn't mean that there are hundred suns, only one sun, but reflecting and manif reflecting in all the parts. Similarly, Amma sees the same Atman which is reflecting in everyone. Other than this, she doesn't see anything. Of course, there are cultural differences. <laughs> So whatever it is, uh, the peace and love are same to everyone, and that's what people want everywhere. No matter who the person is. So that's what she is trying to give, <laughs> and she's could you herself. Herself. Like uh, honey, where honey, wherever you get the honey from, it's sweet. It's sweet. And nature of the fire is also same everywhere. So it's the same. No she, sees the same. she sees that the unchanging. Mm. Well, could you ask her the? Could you ask her? Eastern, the question about an Eastern spirituality, the question of the illusion, mm -hmm. the illusion of life, that this is all an illusion, this is all our dream. What can I tell people in the West to make them understand that? Well, yeah. I believe the first question is that there is no one who is saying that there is no one who is saying that there is no one who is saying that there is no one Past Karakan philosophy and Yellow Parin, the Pama and the Varin. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.